All right, in this last video, we are going to figure out how they figure out how much energy is on our nutrition label, our nutrition facts. All right, they always have to report how much uh, calories per serving size they have and what the serving size is going to be. So you'll see here, this is going to be our 230 uh, kilocalories per 55 grams. So you divide that out and it tells you how many kilocalories per gram we end up having. So to recreate what happens for these food labels, what we do is we use a soda can. All right. And in that soda can, we put 50 grams of water usually. And underneath here, you will see that we put our food sample. You weigh it before then you light that baby on fire. Use a match in order for it to burn. You'll see you have a thermometer here. You take the initial temperature of the water. And what's going to happen to the water inside? Well, if you're burning food underneath it and there's a flame, that water is going to increase in temperature. Once you get to that highest temperature, or if it gets close to boiling, you blow out your food sample, you weigh it afterwards, and then you can figure out how much energy it absorbed. So everybody likes their Takis and all other good stuff, so let's figure that out. All right, so this is what our uh, setup looks like. It has our soda can, and we have a ring stand right here. We usually clamp our thermometer in place. I couldn't get uh, the picture to edit and cut and paste that well. Sometimes you can actually use a uh, test tube, but I like using the can because it conducts the heat so much better. All right, so this is what we would record in our lab. It says, in the lab, student burned a sample of Doritos. The mass of the sample was 11.8 11 11 grams initially. Okay, so this is the initial mass. All right, the student burned the chips under a soda can that contained 50 grams of water. This is the mass of our water. And it starts at 21 degrees Celsius. So this is Ti, the initial temperature of the water. After it burned, the water temperature, uh, the water temperature rose to 94 degrees Celsius. This is our Tf. And the final mass of the chips was 4.3 grams. So this is going to be our mass final. Okay, so this is mass initial. So what we need to do is figure out how much the temperature changed uh, for the water in the calorimeter. Then we use that to figure out how much energy was absorbed by the calorimeter convert that into what the chip lost, then convert it to kilocalories, figure out how much of the chip actually burned, and figure out our serving per size, or energy per size. All right, so let's uh, grab a calculator if you haven't already done so, and start plugging in these numbers. All right, so the temperature change of the water went from 21 degrees Celsius to 94 degrees Celsius. So it's always final minus initial, so you figure out if it's a positive or negative change. And this gives us a positive change of 73 degrees Celsius. That's what I'm going to use down here in my Q equals MC delta T equation. All right, the Q of the water, how much energy the water absorbed, is equal to the mass of the water times the specific heat of the water times the delta T of the water. You have to make sure it says water, 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 and there's not like a chip or something like that. You don't want the mass of the chip in here. You want the mass of the water. So the water inside the calorimeter was 50 grams. We're going to use the specific heat of water in calories. Remember, one calorie is equal to 4.184 joules. We have been probably using joules the whole other time, and this time we end up using calories because our food labels say calories. So we have one calorie per gram degree Celsius. And then we know our temperature change is 73 degrees Celsius. So when you plug that in your calculator, you get 3,650 calories of energy. So that is the value that we are going to use down here.
All right, the water law, uh, the water gained energy because the chip lost energy. All right, so if it is 3,650 calories of energy that the chip, that the water gained, that's going to be negative 3,650 calories that the chip lost. So down here, we're going to convert that into our kilocalories. So that's negative 3,650 calories. You know, it's 1,000 calories per kilocalorie. You either divide and move the decimal place over, or we can rely on our trusty dimensional analysis to know whether we multiply or divide. And since we have calories to start off with, we want to put uh, calories on the bottom so that they cancel out. And it's the same thing as taking this and moving it three decimal places. So basically, you replace the comma with a decimal point. So that's negative 3.65 kcals. All right, so that's how much energy the chips lost. All right, so what do we do for our uh, mass of the chip? Well, delta anything is going to be the mass final minus mass initial which means the burn chip minus how much the chip weighed before. So that is going to be um, 4.3 grams minus 11.8 grams. And we get a delta M of negative 7.5 grams. So this is negative and this is negative, which is good. You want them both to be negative because what we're going to do is we're going to take and figure out how many kilocalories per grams we have. So that's going to be negative 3.65 kcals divided by negative 7.5 grams. And that equals out to be 0.486 kilocalories per gram. And that's how much energy our chip let off per grams. So it depends on how many grams of our chip you are going to eat because that's going to determine how much energy you consumed. All right, so just a little refresher for you. All right, you're figuring out your temperature change of the water. It's always for delta anything, final minus initial. So 94 minus 21 gives you your 73 degrees Celsius. We're going to use that in our QMC delta T equation in order to figure out how much energy the water absorbs in the calorimeter. So that's going to be our 50 grams, our 1 calorie per gram degree Celsius, and 73 uh, degree C to give us 3,650 calories. Convert that into a negative value because we want to figure out how much the chip lost. And then we're going to convert that into kilocalories. So one key kcal is equal to 1,000 calories. So calories and calories cancel out. Basically, it's moving this decimal place over three times. The comma gets replaced with the decimal point. And then we figure out our delta M. So that is going to be, again, final minus initial. The burn chip was the final. The initial mass beforehand was before we burned it. So 4.3 grams minus 11.8, giving us a negative 7.5 grams. So then we normalize for the serving size to get our kilocalories per gram. So that's negative 3.65, which we got over here in part 4. And then we're going to divide by the delta M, which is negative 7.5 grams, and we get 0.486 kilocalories per gram. And that's how you figure out how much energy is released by your food. That is your food calorimetry.